do -do 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 -do. So here we are at Snowshoe, and why am I riding a lift and not geared up? Because I twisted my knee at the park, and now I can't do, um, can't ride. So I'm about to make the best of it, go ahead and get some footage. Maybe I can scheme off on getting some footage of other people riding, but instead I'm just taking this one out. And uh, interesting situation, taking the lift down. So we have no preconceived uh, plan besides we're going to stop at the bottom of the lift and hope we can grab some of our friends going up, some of the pro riders to uh, do some interviews on practice day and stay hydrated while I do all this because the inflammation in my knee needs to be settled down, you know, with some less inflammation. Let's go ahead and uh, introduce ourselves and we talked to Jared earlier. Um, Jared, where are you at in the lineup for the single crown class? Third, I suppose. Third? And what do you have to do to win? Uh, get, I have to win. My name's Steve. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm one away ahead or behind him. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay. Just gonna it, send it. All right. Who we got in the end over there? Still helming it up. Uh, Dave. 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 So how how are you standing in the race? What class are you running in? Twenty third in pro points here. So who do we have here? I'm Lily Driver. All right, and how are you in the point series right now? Uh, right now I'm first for amateur women. First for amateur women. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we'll see how this race goes. I think this is a good one. I think this is a high speed course, and everybody's going to be really. If you're willing to let the brakes loose a little bit, you're going to have a real advantage in this course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is. I'm Christian, and I'm right now in fourth <laughs> in the points. Yeah, in fourteen under. Fourteen under. So we're we're a lot of people. Like, what's crazy is once I like really got in this mountain bike scene, there's like a group of people that go to all the events and really a close knit people that are all really friendly and all scoring well no matter what happens hitting all the races so it's super exciting so um do you have any advice or any section of the course do you see that you are um wanting to work on or maybe you feel really good about either or it can be a negative or positive kind of thing well there's this like rock drop thing and there's two rock drops or you can go around it but the around is like really sketchy because i keep sliding out trying to get around the rock and go up on the other one but I don't really want to do the job so I got to work on that <laughs> okay okay well I haven't even been on the course yet so I'm not sure but hopefully I can get some GoPros on some people to go out and get oh, some yeah. runs to fill in some of this video part that I can't do yeah I probably got to work on like at the end there's like a like a couple I think three maybe gaps that I need to work on because one of them I crashed on because I was going a bit too fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I just got to work on those get the speed right oh and All right. I mean, who is your biggest competition out here today? Oh, probably Simona. Simona, yeah. <laughs> She's got that rock part really well. Yeah? Um, so she does the two rock drops? She does. And you don't? Okay. Yeah, she looks very smooth on it. Okay. <laughs> so she's probably my biggest competition. Lily's out. Good luck. And we're going to stay tuned. And maybe can strap a groper on somebody and right, see what this course is about. Who are you? Alfie Carbonell. Yeah? And where are you in this point series? Uh, I'm leading the For 14 under. Okay, and how do you feel about that? Uh, pretty nervous. Pretty nervous? So how close is the person behind you to taking that spot from uh, you right now? Uh, three points. And what does that mean by where do you have to finish to make sure you ensure the win? If I get second and he gets first, then we'll tie in points. So in other words, you also have to win yeah. is really the situation. No pressure. No right. pressure. But that's what you're telling me. Uh, something like that. All right. So do you have any advice for anybody in the course or a certain area of the course that you feel as if you should tell people about? Don't touch your brakes and pedal faster. Pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes is the best advice ever. Just float over stuff. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're at the interview here. So we're gonna do like a little round robin action and introduce people. So who do we have here? Savannah, tied for third. Tied for third. She's not racing, which is lame. Okay, okay so, so why are you racing, Bailey? I just wanna ride the park. You tried to park? It's because she'll beat us all. She doesn't oh, yeah. Care. So, how do we feel? We think we all vote that Bailey should start racing, right? Yep. Yeah. Not if she doesn't want to. Oh, she's, she's going to do it out of guilt. Do it out of guilt. We're just going to peer pressure into doing it. It's okay. Hey, I'm Rachel, the most unpro pro. Um, the unpro pro? Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yep. Uh, second in the series right now. Um, so, we'll see what happens. And, you know, this course is awesome. This was my home mountain for a while. Super stoked. It's dry. When does that ever happen? Crazy the whole stuff. Be dry. So we're stoked. Lots of drops, drops for days. Drops are awesome. Maybe I'll grow, 
grow some bad. massive yeah. boobs like, and hit cupcake. I'm Piper. I have zero points because I've never raced. So I might race this weekend. We'll see. Keep that you have a number plate on there. I have a number plate. So, so you're registered? Yes. I'm registered. Oh, you should totally do it. Have yeah. you been down the course and have you walked anything? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been through on the course. I got through the course. She doesn't walk the course. She I, I ride it, but. That's it. That's the I've whole win. I've never raced before, though. Oh, matter. all you do is make it to the bottom and you get a score. Like I gotta yeah. catch the sketch boys. Oh, so the keep sketch boys. Sketch, y'all. All right. Bailey's a sandbagger. Bailey's a sandbagger. And she should race. He is a sandbagger. Get out of here. Hey, welcome back. So now I caught somebody else on, not on the lift. We're going to do a little interview. So who are you? I'm Lizzie Warlick. I'm riding for Crank Arm Bruin on a rally. All right. And where are you in the point standings? I'm third in the women's am tied with uh, Savannah. Okay. So what's going to happen here? I don't know. Um, took a little tumble yesterday, but I'm yeah. uh, feeling good today. So we'll see. Derek Maiden. How are you on the point series? Oh, way back. That's cool. That's a good number. Somebody said they were 27, so don't feel bad. Somebody was proud as shit at 27. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, man, 27. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, so who do we have next? Conrad. All right, where are you in the point series? Uh, I have no idea. That's a good answer. It's, it's going to be a fun race for sure. Okay, so who do we have on the end down there? Got Seth Hansen down here. All right. How are you in the point series? I'm um, sitting first. Sitting first for what class? For pro. For the just it's anybody that comes to serve it up, this guy's sitting at the top of that. So how do you feel about? Look at that deer right there to interrupt your interview. Look at that uh, boom okay. on the trail. It's awesome it's because there are a lot of high speed sections where if you're just willing not to brake and just let the bike float, you can really like accelerate and maintain a higher speed through all of the sections. That's so true. I would second what you're saying. Right. That's because I agree with the pro. You know, I, mean? I'm, I'm, I agree with the guy. It's the same point of view as the guy in first place. <laughs> the downhill series. That's not, you know, just not a big deal. Whatever. What do you guys think about a section? Is uh, is there anything that you can contribute to the? Uh... Well, I think I need to work a little bit on the flat rock. It's talking about the flat rock garden. Yeah, the flat rock garden. That's part that for sure. If you can keep like a very good speed there, you're gonna get a huge advantage. You know. Okay. So I'm gonna try to. Do my best there for sure. Sounds like uh, somewhere Seth's gonna be super reckless compared to everybody else. Oh <laughs> <laughs> right. right. yeah, um, yeah. I'm with Conrad on that. The rock garden. Uh, it's gonna be pretty important. To carry all your speed through there, uh -huh. so you can get out to that connector and keep hammer, keep hammer down. You know. Uh, to be honest, it's my first time here. I'm mm -hmm. from Costa Rica, and I couldn't. You don't have an accent at all. <laughs> I've been here for a while already. Okay. Riding my bike. Yeah. Okay. So what would, how would you compare? Like you've been to a bunch, of, a bunch of different parks. What would make this unique over any other park kind of situation? Well, this one has like better flow, I think. I would agree. I like the park that has more flow to it and, and you can maintain a higher speed because I enjoy probably the 15 to 25 mile an hour mark on the bike that can fluctuate. I don't really like being below that speed on the bike. Right. And I have the most fun. I feel like at this park allows a lot of that. Right. The yeah. race course is super, super fast. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not as like techy as you know, you go to Wind Rock and stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. a little slower, steeper, more techy. That Here also. It's just fucking, it's wide open. It, Here you need to yeah, try to wide. hold on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This place down. is just overall faster in most houses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wear your protection. Um, wear your protection. What, do you, you guys wear, do you wear a chest protector? I got a back protector on. What is the, is there not a connector to the front? Is there not a chest protector I, as well? I took it out. How does that work? There's little flaps, I just took it out. Oh, okay. So mine doesn't do that. It's like solid in the front. Mm -hmm. So you wear just the back protector. With it. I'm with you, though. Just back protector. I just jammed up my back and dislocated a rib and had it pop back in, but it would have been way worse without a back protector. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What, uh, what kind of protection? Do you wear any protection? Uh, Inside my jersey, no. No? Okay, no. that's pretty he's, reckless. He's hardcore. He's, he's, he's committed. I'm going to start using one when I go back. I chest have one protector. at the house. Yeah. But I do think you should always wear a chest protector, a cup, a neck brace, a full face <laughs> helmet, full oh, shin yeah. guard. And you, and, you know, all those things that we recommend. That you should definitely wear it. So talking to the guy at the top of the list, Seth, thanks for the interview. Thank you guys too. And we'll stay tuned and see how this CI does. Maybe we'll strap a GoPro on him later. Seth, and he's got, he's the points leader for the series. So... Guess we're in a good shot of the course. Hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned because tomorrow is race day. Or what's happening? Is she all the way flat or just low? Almost. She's just, just she's just a tire. She's low. So what you're saying is you're gonna get one last run.
Yo. Rider! Rider bud! Sitting over here, um, gonna get lined up to take some shots of the whip off. I got a feeling that's gonna cinder row, cinder bob, cinder rusco. Yeah, camera guys, top of his head up in the jump. Oh, what's up, bud? That's one of the way.